for you as the class today. Hi, nurse. Um, I've just been not feeling very well lately. I've noticed that my feet and my ankles are swollen, and I think that there might be some blood in my urine. Ooh, sounds like you might have glomular nephritis. <laughs> What's that? Well, before we get into that, let's talk about how a normal kidney functions. Okay. The main function of the kidney is to filter blood, produce urine, and maintain acid-base balance. In the kidney, there is a functioning unit called a nephron. In the nephron, there contains a glomerulus. And the glomerulus is a tuft of capillaries that are exceptionally porous, allowing large amounts of solute-rich fluid to pass through the blood and filter into the renal tubules to form urine. The glomerulus is served by two arterioles, the afferent arterial and the efferent arterial. The afferent arterial brings blood to the glomerulus for filtration, and the efferent arterial takes blood away from the glomerulus. When blood enters the glomerulus through the afferent arterial, it is filtered through the porous capillaries of the glomerulus. This results in filtrate. Filtrate contains water, sodium chloride, potassium, and bicarb, glucose, amino acids, creatine, and urea. Filtrate needs things taken out of it and put into it. To do this, it runs through a series of tubes. The first part being the proximal tubule, then the loop of Henle, which also consists of the descending limb and the ascending limb. Filtrate should not contain proteins, red blood cells. This suggests a disease process within the glomerulus. In glomerular nephritis, the glomerulus is inflamed. Cell membrane becomes more permeable and more leaky, resulting in altered filtration and the passing of larger molecules such as proteins, white blood cells, and red blood cells. There are two types of glomerular nephritis, acute and chronic. In acute, inflammation of the glomeruli leads to increased permeability of the filtration membrane. This can be caused by circulating immune complexes. Antibodies attached to foreign substances, such as streptococcal bacteria, become trapped in the glomerular basement membrane. In other cases, immune responses are mounted against one's own kidney tissues, leading to glomerular damage. In both cases, the inflammatory response that follows damage is the filtration membrane allows blood proteins and blood cells to pass into the renal tubules and into the urine. Symptoms include edema, hypertension, blood in the urine, protein in the urine, and if left untreated, renal failure. Treatment of acute glomerular nephritis includes management of symptoms, attempting to preserve kidney function, antibiotics, <laughs> corticosteroids, and immunosuppressive medications. Chronic glomerular nephritis may be due to repeated episodes of acute glomerular nephritis. The kidneys are reduced to one-fifth of their normal size, and the bands of scar tissue distort the remaining cortex, making the surface of the kidney rough and irregular. Numerous glomeruli and their tubules become scarred. Signs and symptoms include gray-yellow skin pigmentation, edema, nocturnia, headaches, and dizziness. Treatment is similar with acute symptom management being priority. So, Megan, based on tests, we have found that you have acute glomerular nephritis. Why me? Well, Megan, some of the risk factors include family history, viral infection, arterial infection, high blood pressure, and diabetic kidney disease. We know that a bacterium is what caused your glomerular nephritis, so we're going to treat it using antibiotics. Some of the other treatment options focus on symptom management and preserving kidney function. Do you have any more questions? <laughs> no, I don't, thank you. You're welcome. It was great working with you. You too. Summary, there are two types of glomerular nephritis, acute and chronic. Glomerular nephritis is a disease which affects the glomerulus, which is the filtering part of the kidney located in the nephron. The body's ability to filter blood is compromised by the change in cell membrane permeability due to the damage caused by inflammation. The treatment is primarily focused on symptom management and preserving renal function. That concludes our presentation. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy our video of Glomerulonephritis.